Miss Philippines Earth is brought to you by Miss Earth Foundation and Kitco Travel and Tours. that we can be proud of. For us to be the generation that turned the tide for climate change, that is a legacy we can most certainly be proud of. To end, I'd like to quote the Brundtland Report. It is important that we meet the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. This is Sofia Lopez Galve, Woman of the Earth. My journey with Miss Philippines Earth has been nothing but wonderful. From being a girl who only dreamed of doing great things to finally becoming a woman whose purpose and passion continue to burn bright. A queen who shares her advocacy, empowers the youth, and inspires people to be better. To my successor, this is only the beginning of a greater journey, so always keep that fire burning. This has been Ronnie Meneses, your Miss Philippines Earth Fire 2021. I am eternally grateful for this voyage because it has given me the opportunity to create so many meaningful relationships. I cannot express how thankful I am to my family, my K-Familia, my team, and my beloved Iloilo City for making this all so possible. To my successor, always hark back to what grounds you, all the hearts you can touch, and all the wonderful connections you can build. But more importantly, have fun and let the currents guide your heart. This has been Rosel Songano, your Miss Philippines Water 2021. A spark of hope is all it takes to change the world. This was my last line before I became your Miss Philippines Earth Air. Being here not only brought hope, but so much passion to learn, to fight, 
Only a year has passed, but the experience I gained is enough to last me a lifetime. But I did not do this alone. So thank you to my family, to Mayor Mendoza, Governor Helen Tan, and my team at Imanat. To the next queen, may the spark inside your heart be the hope which guides others to be the change. I woke up that morning in disbelief. It was like waking up into a dream. I remember walking outside every night prior, wishing upon the stars, hoping that one would be for me. You know, life is a series of thousands of miracles, and to me, this was one of them. I am indebted truly, not just for the crown, but the path that it has led me to. I had the privilege to have stood by inspiring Filipino women aiming to make a difference. Women who believe the hopes of a better tomorrow. All of you have changed me and I am proud to be a Filipina and I am honored to have represented this incredible country. Thank you to the people who have touched my life, my family, Miss Earth or KF, my sponsors, and to all my team members who have made this possible. Thank you. And I'm wishing my successor good luck. You're only halfway through your journey as a queen in a lifetime battle as an eco-warrior. A breathtaking journey to the crown unfolds here on the grand coronation of Miss Philippine Third 2022. Tag Resort Coron Palawan. This is Miss Philippine Third 2022. And here's your host, Robbie. Domingo! All I can say is, wow, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the earth. I love saying that one. How's everyone doing? Good, great, fine. Well, it's a lovely day right here in Koron. And trust me when I say this, I don't want to be anywhere else right now. You know, this world-class destination is just teeming with life. So this makes um, the perfect venue for Miss Philippines Earth as it puts a spotlight on the country's rich fauna. Now, this year's pageant is like no other because you'll be given that chance to see the breathtaking sights of Coron Palawan. And as you can see, we are one with nature right now to lessen our carbon footprint. Here in Miss Philippines Earth, we talk the talk and we walk the walk. That's how we do it right here. This is an innovative way to do a pageant. But now, ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on these empowered beauties who are out to save the planet. The beautiful ladies of Miss Philippines Earth 2022. Alabel Sarangani, Meryl Kit Paraluman. Amono Rizal, Daisy Kent Gonzalez, Antipolo City, Sex Cruz, Malantas Bulacan, Trisha Van Eldick, Bawang La Union, Val Paulite, Bayugan City, Nice Lampad. Cadiz City. Jaira Alia Olvinada. Kalatagang Batangas. Hannah Chanel A. Arellano. Cebu City. Yara Lian Valentin. Del Carmen Surigao del Norte. Angela Oco. Dipolo City. Roche Santos. 
Filipino community of Dubai, United Arab Emirates, Crystaline Adrenera. Ipaan Batangas, Renee Colleen Santa Teresa. Hasaan Misamis Oriental, Jimema Tempra. Kauswagan Lano del Norte, Daniel McKay Juano de la Cruz. Lambayo, Sultan Kudarat, Claudia Lofer Reman Ukatu. Las Piña City, Bea Cecilio. Legazpi City, Erika Vina Talavera Tan. Makati City, Trina Martinez. Mandaluyong City, Jennifer De Assis. City of Manila, Justine Ortega. Matanao Davao del Sur, Shana Angel Resaba. Mati City, Wiza Moreno. Itzaya, North Cotabato. Alexandra Jean Berry. Mumbin Lupa City, Micaela Legarda. Nauhan Oriental Mindoro, Christelle David. Magadian City, Scotty Mutia Alves. Municipality of Pateros, Jasmine Calma. Polomolok, South Cotabato, Yona Servinia. Quezon City, Maria Lourdes de Leon. Sagay City, Cheriz Borsellas. Sampalo, Quezon, Michelle Simbilia. Santa Ignacia Tarla. Jenny Ram San Vicente Palawan Christine Glory Balboa Silang Cavite Danny Canila Tampacan South Cotabato Sunshine Paraico Filipino Community of Toronto, Canada Jasmine Cagio. Trece Martires City, Angel Santos. And now, let's meet this year's Top 20 Delegates.
Pinada, Cadiz City, Negros Occidental. Jimema Tempra, Hasaan Misamis Oriental. Jennifer Diasis, Mandaluyong City. That was intense. Did you love that one? A different kind of introduction, but the call of the wild echoes in the air. The question is, who will be roaring the loudest? Ooh, sounds familiar, but it is the survival of the fittest and the survival of the most beautiful Earth advocate. And it happens only here on Miss Philippines Earth 2022. Brought to you by Hotel 101 Manila Bingo Plus and Ever Belena Cosmetics. Well, the beauty of Coron Palawan never fails to inspire us, just like what we saw during the opening number in Mount Talapay. But to make it this far, our delegates had to make this lasting impression during their virtual competitions that determined our top 20. Let's break down the moments that set the tone for today's finals. Watch this.
Oh wow, lots of moments have transpired and all roads led to this moment right here. But no beauty search is ever complete without the pre-pageant competitions. And this year, Miss Philippines Earth saw outstanding and even surprising performances, which spelled three Fs. Um, fun, fierce, and fabulous. So at this point, let's look at the winners of our special awards. Talented, fabulous, and downright advocates of the earth. The delegates of 2022 put their A games on during the preliminary competitions. And as expected, the best candidates were rightfully rewarded for their exemplary performances. In the singing category of the talent competition, three delegates sang their hearts out to earn a spot in the medal tally. The bronze medal goes to Dani Kanilang from Silang Cavite. Silver medal to Shana Angel Rosaba of Matanao Davao del Sur. And the delegate with a gold medal and golden voice, Cesc Cruz, representing Antipolo City. In the creative category, three more delegates finished on top, and they are Meryl Kit Paraluman, Alabel Sarangani, bronze medal. Taserie Kent Gonzalez, Ango Norizal, silver medal. And Kiara Leon Wallington, Cebu City, gold medal. And completing the medalists in the talent competition are the delegates with the moves who ace the dancing category. Iona Servino, Polomolok South Cotabato, bronze medal. Christine Glory Balboa, San Vicente Palawan, silver medal. And Nice Lampad, Bayugan City. Moving on to the sportswear competition, three more delegates earned medals for their fashionably sporty looks. Bronze medal goes to Jaira Alia Olvenada, Cadiz City. Silver medal is awarded to Jenny Ram, Santa Ignacio Tarlac. And taking home the gold is Angela Ocol, Del Carmen, Surigao del Norte. As for the delegates who got the nod of approval in the beachwear competition, they are Cebu City, Kiara Leanne Wallington, Bronze Medal, Micaela Legarda, Muntinlupa City, Silver Medal, and Alexandra Jean Beharin, Metsayap, North Cotabato, Gold Medal. No pageant is complete without a dazzling evening gown competition. And the delegates who shone the brightest are Jenny Ram of Santa Ignacia Tarla, Bronze Medal. Justine Ortega, City of Manila, Silver Medal. And Kiara Leanne Wallington, Cebu City, Gold Medal. Finally, a sense of national pride weaved into creativity was the centerpiece of the spectacular cultural attire competition. And here are this year's medalists. Bronze, Angela Oco del Carmen Surigao del Norte. Silver, Mero Kit Paraluman, Alabel Sarangani. And gold medal, Justine Ortega, City of Manila. From Miss Philippines Earth 2022, our thanks to all the judges who took part in the preliminary competitions and congratulations to all the winners! Oh wow, looking at the list of our special awardees, You'll have this idea no, on how competitive our ladies are. And speaking of which, our competition gets underway because when we return, the delegates will heat your day up in their hot, hot beachwear. This is it. Your screens will sizzle when we return only here on Miss Philippines Earth 2022.
is really beautiful and uh, when you talk about Quran what easily comes to mind are the inviting crystal clear waters so inviting that once you just look at them you just want to dive in right that's the beauty of Quran Palawan and for this part of the competition we invite you to plunge into a spectacular display of fitness and form and get insights on each delegate's chosen fauna in line with this year's theme so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here are your top 20 in their beachwear. already at its endemic stage. Trisha Van Heldick, Balagdas Bulacan. Bayugan City, nice lampad. She soars like the slender bill crow, her chosen fauna, which can be found in the moist lowland of tropical mangrove forest. Nice Lampad, Bayugan City. Cadiz City, Jaira Alia Olvinada. This Visayan looker puts the spotlight on the Visayan leopard cat, locally known as Maral, and calls for its protection because of reports of its declining number. Jaira Alia Olvinara, Cadiz City. Cebu City, Kiara Leanne Wellington. Her outgoing personality reflects the fawn of her choice, the parrotfish, which plays an increasingly important role in tropical reef ecosystems. Kiara Lee and Wellington, Cebu City. Tipolog City. Rache Santos, Tipolic City is 
the bottled sardines capital of the Philippines. Needless to say, she chose to highlight sardines, which are the source of livelihood for most of her kababayans. Rache Santos, Dipolog City. Filipino Community of Dubai, UAE, Crystalline Abrenica. She chose to promote the exotic Hawksbill Turtle, which got its name from the shape of its curved pointed beak that resembles that of a bird of prey. Crystalline Abrenica, Filipino Community of Dubai, UAE. The Philippine sailfin lizard was chosen by this delegate to promote and hopefully get everyone's attention to preserve this vulnerable species. Jimena Tempra, Hasaan Misamis Oriental. Las Pina City, Bea Cecilio. The gentle giant of the sea known as Butanding or whale shark is her chosen fauna. The Philippines is home to close to 2,000 whale sharks, making it the second largest whale shark population in the world. Bea Cecilio, Las Piñas City. Legaspi City, Eric Vina Tan. Deadly yet a vital part of the ecological balance is how the delegate describes the Philippine spitting cobra, which, despite its unfavorable reputation, may also be viewed as a symbol of strength and power. Eric V. Natan, Legaspi City. Makati City, Trina Martinez. This delegate has a soulful take on the butterfly. For her, it represents the mind and the never-ending cycle of life. Trina Martinez, Makati City. Mandaluyong City, Jennifer Diasis. She chose the tiger in honor of the progressive tiger city that is Mandaluyong. The tiger's ability to take a gigantic leap on a single bounce inspired her to leap on her own with hopes to win the crown. Jennifer the Asses, Mandaluyong City. City of Manila, Justin Ortega. She singled out the endemic Philippine bleeding heart pigeon for its importance in facilitating pollination in tropical forests. Justin Ortega, City of Manila. She believes she shares the same qualities with her chosen fauna, the wise owl, intuitive, observant, and independent. Micaela Ligarda, Muntinlupa City. Municipality of Pateros, Jasmine Calma. She would like to encourage everyone to help save the Philippine crocodile. Once found in the whole archipelago, it is now one of the critically endangered species in the world. Jasmine Calma, Municipality of Pateros. Quezon 
Leon City, Maria Lourdes de Leon. The majestic peacock closely describes her personality, someone who possesses angelic beauty and generosity. Maria Lourdes de Leon, Kazan City. Sagai City, Jaris Borsellas. Through this year's theme, she hopes to familiarize everyone with the Visayan hornbill, a fairly large bird found in the lowland forests on Panay and Negros Islands. Jaris Borsellas, Sagai City. Santa Ignacia Tarlac, Jenny Ram. Her chosen fauna is the rare white-winged flying fox found on Mindoro Island. Only 13 specimens of this mega bat has ever been found. Jenny Ram, Santa Ignacia Tarlac. <music> Filipino community of Toronto, Canada, Jasmine Pagio. She's very fond of the red cardinal because for her, this bird symbolizes strength and evokes cheerfulness because of its bright red color. Jasmine Pagio, Filipino community of Toronto, Canada. Trece Martires City, Angel Santos. She calls for the protection of the Luzon peacock swallowtail, an endangered butterfly species endemic to the Philippines. Butterflies are indicators of a healthy environment and ecosystem. Angel Santos, Trece Martires City. And once again, your top 20 in their beachwear. Give it up for our ladies. It's getting hot in here because of you guys. <laughs> but they look so awesome in their swimsuits slash beachwear, which are exclusively designed for Miss Philippines Earth by one of my favorites, Ricky Abad. Ricky Abad, I love you so much. Now, more parade of beauties are coming your way straight from where nature meets the loveliest earth advocates. And this is... Miss Philippines Earth 2022. Brought to you by Hotel 101 Manila and Everbelena Cosmetics. Oh, 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 oh,
Here on Miss Philippines Earth, it's not only the most deserving lady who gets crowned. We also honor the achievements of private corporations in protecting our environment as well as our LGUs or local government units through the eco videos submitted by our lovely delegates. Let's have a look at this year's winners of our Eco Awards. The Miss Earth Foundation names a new batch of Eco Award winners for implementing the best practices in sustainability and development. Four local government units are recognized for spearheading various environmental projects such as water pollution prevention, the use of nature-based solutions beyond ecotourism, and the adoption of zero-based casualty solutions during natural disasters through mangrove and tree planting. And the chosen LGUs are Del Carmen Surigao. Del Carmen is home to the third largest mangrove in Asia. It is one of the municipality's greatest lifelines. Legazpi City. Typhoons Melenio, Remy, and Senyang devastated the city of Legazpi. All these are because of the effects of climate change. Alabel Sarangani. It is always a challenge for the LGU to maintain its pristine coastal waters. San Vicente, Palawan. The municipality of San Vicente has shifted to e-trikes for sustainable transportation. Congratulations to the recipients of the ECHO Award for 2022. We would like to thank the panel of evaluators from the National Council of Women of the Philippines, Balikatan sa Kaunlaran National Foundation, ECHO System, IMUS Institute of Science and Technology, and the Center for Local Innovation and Capacity Development. Until next year, let's keep working for a greener and better environment. Well, that is our mission and purpose. And thank you to our ladies for creating meaningful content. Now, from Manila to Coron, the calendar of our delegates has been filled with lots of activities that range from having fun to doing meaningful work for our environment. Here is what they have been up to since touching down on this beautiful island that we call home. Watch this.
And yes, we are back only here on Miss Philippines Earth 2022. And we know you can't get enough of the beauty of our delegates. So, we'll be giving you another picture-perfect moment with our ladies. And as they come out one by one, let's see if you can spot who among them can become our newest Miss Philippines Earth. For now, let's all welcome the first batch of the top 20 in their resort-inspired gowns. Isabel Sarangani, Merrill Kid Paraluman. This chemistry student is very close with her grandparents. She used to spend her summer vacation in the countryside where she learned to be free spirited and adventurous. Merrill Kid Paraluman, Alabel Sarangani. Balagtas Bulacan, Trisha Van Eldick. She got her love for pageantry from her sister, who joined several pageants when she was a teen. Today, she hopes to keep that streak going and hopefully walk home with a crown. Trisha Van Eldick, Balagtas Bulacan. Bayugan City, Nice Lampad. When she was eight, she dislocated a bone on her left leg that made her unable to walk for a year. 13 years later, she's taking big strides toward the Miss Philippines Earth Crown. Nice Lampad, Bayugan City. Cadiz City, Jaira Alia Alvinada. She's a confessed fangirl who could never forget the time she met her pop idol, Katy Perry. Up close and personal, she'll have fans of her own if she wins the title today. Jaira Alia Albinada, Cadiz City. Cebu City, Kiara Leanne Wellington. Born in France, she never spoke a single Visayan word when her family relocated to Cebu when she was eight, but that didn't hinder her from enjoying her childhood and forgoing good friendships along the way. Kiara Leanne Wellington, Cebu City. Depolog City, Rache Santos. This accounting coordinator enjoys traveling to places that bring her close to nature. She's a true blue adventurer who once went canyoneering and cliff diving. Rache Santos, Depolog City. Filipino Community of Dubai, UAE, Crystalline Abrenica. She's a quality engineer who believes that life is not always about complying with society. It's about having the freedom to express and being true to oneself. Crystalline Abrenica, Filipino Community of Dubai, UAE. Hasaan Misamis Oriental, Jimema Tempra, an advocate for zero waste management, this tourism student acquired her love for animals from spending much of her childhood in the countryside with her grandmother. Hasaan Misamis Oriental, Jimema Tempra. La Spina City, Bea Cecilio. Giving without asking anything in return has been the mantra of this multimedia development supervisor who considers Miss Philippines Earth as her first and probably last national pageant. Bea Cecilio, La Spina City. Legaspi City, Erica Vina Tan. She grew up in a close-knit family and it was a support from her loved ones that got her through the times when she lived and worked abroad as an international flight attendant. Erica Vina Tan, Legaspi City.
ladies and gentlemen, the first batch of our top 20 in their resort gowns. Beautiful. They are oozing with grace, confidence, and elegance. But another group of beauties will dazzle their way to the crown when we return after the break. This is still Miss Philippines Earth 2022. Belena Cosmetics. Our journey with the Filipino moves us to do more. Giving hope to those in need. Rebuilding lives. Inspiring sports heroes and empowering a nation. PagCore, creating opportunities beyond gaming. Tibutin natin ang naggagandahang isla at mga tanawin mamamangha. At dahil safe ng bumiyahe, balikan natin ang ating mayamang kultura, makukulay na fiesta, at ang sarap ng sariling atin. Katulad na nag-iisang manok ng bayan na kahit ang sulok ng kapuluan ay may chuk sa store na nag -aantay. Ang sarap sa Pinas. At yan, ang bagong chuk sa oven roasted manok na nag-uumapaw sa flavorful chicken juice. Dahil talaga namang ang sarap sa Pinas. Brought to you by Hotel 101 Manila, Pagcor, and Everbelana Cosmetics. Welcome back to the show. Now, 10 more ladies are glammed up and poised to stake their claim as the newest Miss Philippines Earth. And to complete the resort gown round, here is the second batch of beauties from our top 20. Makati City, Trina Martinez. She never doubts herself in everything she does, which might be the reason why she's a successful senior financial advisor and a live online streamer at the same time. Trina Martinez, Makati City. Mandaluyong City, Jennifer De Assis. This prom queen firmly believes that one does not acquire knowledge from books alone. One needs to be street smart and learn from experience. Jennifer De Assis, Mandaluyong City. An only child, she has always been pressured to be an achiever and always competitive. No wonder she's putting her best foot forward to get a third win for the nation's capital. Justin Ortega, City of Manila. 
Once in Lupa City, Micaela Ligarda. Growing up has not always been easy for this freelance model, but she took all life challenges in stride to become the strong and confident woman that she is today. Micaela Ligarda, Muntinlupa City. Municipality of Pateros, Jasmine Calma. This quality assurance engineer from the Loan Municipality in Metro Manila has a strong creative inclination, having joined several art contests when she was still in school. Jasmine Calma, Municipality of Pateros. Quezon City, Maria Lourdes de Leon. An online teacher by profession, she admits to being bullied when she was in grade school, but her mom taught her to be strong and stand up for herself. Maria Lourdes de Leon, Quezon City. She's an academic achiever who used to be shy. She gained confidence and learned the value of leadership by joining various school organizations. Jaris Borcellas, Sagai City. Santa Ignacia Tarla. Jenny Ram, this psychology student who grew up in the U.S., admits she struggled a bit when her family decided to settle in the Philippines, but she managed to cope when she worked with all kinds of people as a model. Jenny Ram, Santa Ignacia Tarlac. <music> Filipino community of Toronto, Canada. Jasmine Baguio, the only girl in her family, this independent young lady has had her eyes set on pursuing the arts. And true enough, she's determined to pursue her acting and pageantry goals here in the country. Jasmine Baguio, Philippine community of Toronto, Canada. Trece Martires City, Angel Santos. She's a public works and highways engineer who was raised by a single father. And she believes that it takes passion and dedication to be a Miss Philippines Earth title holder. Angel Santos, Trece Martires City. That is it, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our Earth Advocates in their resort gown competition. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Well, time is ticking and it won't be long before we make the first cut from 20. We'll be announcing our top 10 and that is next only here on Miss Philippines Earth 2022. Oh, yeah. 
Among the young women who tried their luck in this beautiful pageant, only 20 were fortunate enough to get to the finals here in Coron Palawan. And as for the top 20, the competition didn't get any easier as they had to clear one hurdle after another. Do you want to know what these challenges were? Well, I invite you to watch this. So you see, it's not easy to become a beauty queen. So at this point, I just want to say personally to all of our ladies right here, to our top 20, saludo ako sa inyo lahat. Let's give them a big round of applause. Now you know what the top 20 had to go through. But their job is far from over because they need to earn the seal of approval from our distinguished individuals I'm about to introduce. It's time to meet our panel of judges. First up, we got the Public Relations Officer and Environmental Vice Chairman of the National Council of Women in the Philippines and President of Balikatan sa Kaunlaran National Foundation. We got Miss Michelle Bautista Tanyada. Looking so lovely. Thank you for being here. How next? She has over three decades of experience in building iconic radio brands and staging some of the biggest local and international concerts in the country. The marketing head of Tag Resort, Miss B. Ann Tupas. Oh, I love the beauty queen wave. <laughs> All right. Up next, we got a licensed environmental planner, renewable energy practitioner, and real estate developer. A commissioner at the Climate Change Commission under the office of the President, Commissioner Albert De La Cruz Sr. Thank you, sir, for being here. I need to get one of those shirts. I love Corona as well. Now we got a beauty queen turned actress and broadcaster whose advices or pieces of advice on life and love can be heard over her radio program, Echoes of the Heart. We've got the very beautiful Miss Evangeline Pascual. Hashtag right there. The first Filipina and Asian female commercial pilot who has been active in saving Philippine seas through the coral movement. The director for coral conservation and marine protection of heirs of the world and the founder and president of EcoDive Philippines, Miss Joyce Houghton. We got an advocate of protecting the marine environment being a former commander of the Coast Guard Marine Environmental Protection Command before serving as the 29th command commandant of the Philippine Coast Guard we've got Admiral Artimeo Manalo Abu Friends tayo boss ah Yeah I got your back and hopefully you got mine The first lady of Coron we got Mrs. Eileen De Guzman Reyes Thank you for being here. The Chief of Staff of the Office of the Governor of Palawan, we got Miss Maria Grace Mansueto Lim. Hello, ma'am. Loving the smile. And finally, a beauty queen, a seasoned television producer, and an advocate rolled into one, the co-founder of the Miss Philippines Earth and Miss Earth pageants, my favorite Earth warrior, the one, the only, Miss Lorraine Shook. 
Again, thank you for creating this pageant, ma'am. Thank you to our judges. I know you're having the best tan right here in Coron, but I know you got a ton of responsibilities ahead of you. And would love to acknowledge the people who have been working tirelessly to make Miss Philippines Earth possible. Ladies and gentlemen, the executives of Carousel Productions. Let's give a big round of applause to our vice president and project director, Miss Peachy Venerason. Hi, Miss Peachy. <laughs> Once again, our Executive Vice President, Ms. Lorraine Shook. And our President, Mr. Ramon Monzon. We want to give a special shout out to Miss Philippines Earth alums and consultants to the Miss Earth Foundation, Miss Catherine Untalan Vital, and we have the very beautiful Miss Karen Ebasco. Thank you, whom I hope can sing later on. All right, thank you, Miss Karen. We'll never leave Ron without saying thank you to our gracious host, the Mayor of Coron, the Honorable Marjo Reyes. Yan ang idol ko. And of course, to tag Resort Coron Palawan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. And again, thank you to our multi-awarded tribu Kalamianen Cultural Group for providing the beautiful music for our beach wear and resort gown segments of the show. Thank you. Now, the delegates would not have made it safely to Coron without the support of the Philippine Coast Guard through PCG's BRP Gabriela Silang. Now, PCG is one with a pageant in promoting marine protection and maritime tourism. Maraming maraming salamat po ba. Thank you. We are safe right here in Tag Resort. Now, on to the crucial part of our pageant as we are going to make the selection a bit easier for our judges as we narrow down the competition to our delegates. Good luck. Here we go. This is it. From 20, we'll be announcing our top 10 in no particular order. The first to make it to our Magic 10 is... Sagai City Jerez Borsalas. Please step forward. Bayugan City, Agusan del Sur. Nice Lampan. They say three is a company, and you're part of this company, this family right here. We say congratulations to. Montin Lupa City, Micaela Legarda. While your quest for the crowd continues as you step forward, congratulations. To our Filipino community of Toronto, Canada, Jasmine Pagio. You can smile right now. Mandaluyong City, Jennifer De Asis. We are halfway there, and you are part of this list. Congratulations. Cebu City, Kiara, Leanne, Wellington. Lucky seven right now, and that is you. Lega 
Gatsby City, Erika Vina Tan. It takes eight to be great. Congratulations. Sandai Gnashatar Lak Jenny Rep. You still have that chance to get the crown. Congratulations. Hasaan Misamis Oriental, Jimema Tempra. And completing the list of our top 10. Congratulations to. Congratulations. Trece Martire City, Angel Santos. Ladies and gentlemen, your top 10 right here in our Miss Philippines Earth 2022. Congratulations and thank you to our Earth Advocates who are part of our top 20. Maraming maraming salamat. Now we are getting closer to finding out who the newest Miss Philippines Earth will be. And the competition continues when we come back right after this short break. Don't go away. Welcome back to Miss Philippines Earth 2022. And this is just giving me this blissful elegant vibe right here at tag resort which seals the deal that this is really one of the most favorite destinations of tourists all over the world and this is actually our way of telling you guys that the world the earth is our stage and the stage is set for our top 10. during the break we asked each of our top 10 to choose a card containing a topic that will be expounding on that she will be expounding on We'll be giving each one of them 30 seconds to share her thoughts. And once this chime sounds off, that means that her time is up. Let's get this going as we call on Sagay City, Jeris Borsellas. Hello, Sagay City. As you can see, the um, letters are sealed. So that means they don't know what's inside. All right, are you ready? My word is hashtag political will. Government is a pillar to one's nation. And as people, we should cooperate to the government and show our political will, especially when programs about environment. Political will combined with collective efforts, education, it's definitely possible for us to generate a transformative action that could help mitigate environmental problems, especially about climate change. Thank you so much. Cheris Porcelas, Sagay City, with her word or hashtag political will. And we will be moving on as we call in Bayugan City, Agusan del Sur. Nice, Lampad. Nice. Are you ready? Science. Science is very important. It is everywhere. We can see it everywhere. And as a medical technologist who loves science, I would love to advocate hashtag nice to save you. Not only that it opens the heart of the people to save the earth, but I believe that we should save the earth now because saving the nature or the earth now is sustaining the life of the future. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice Lampad, Bayugan City, Agusan del Sur. I'll be using that hashtag, nice to save you. Pero ano kaya yung hashtag or word 
ng susunod nating Earth Advocate. Let's call in Muntinlupa City, Micaela Legarda. Hello, Micaela. Hashtag, my word is hashtag self love. Nowadays, a lot of people are experiencing insecurity because of the television or the standards that we see on social media. I also feel that, but I am here being part of Miss Philippines Earth because I love myself. I know my worth. And as an advocate for environment, I want to educate those people to love yourself, to know your worth. And one day you'll be also here protecting the environment. Thank you. Thank you. Self-love, know your worth. Especially for the people who are watching us right now. Please take care of yourself. Lalong lalo sa panahon ngayon, no? Kasi if you can't take care of yourself, I'll take care of you. Okay. Let's uh, take care of business right now as we call in <laughs> our Filipino community of Toronto, Canada, Jasmine Pagio. Jasmine, looking lovely. Are you ready? Okay. My hashtag is prayer. This is something that I can relate to experiencing competing in Miss Philippines Earth. Prayer is what leads you to your destiny. And as a candidate, I believe that it is my destiny to share my passion for the environment with the world and with the earth. Thank you. Short, sweet, direct to the point. Thank you, Jasmine Pagio. And we're praying for a better climate, weather for the Philippines and all over the world. Okay, let's go to Mandaluyong City. Jennifer the Asses. Is Jennifer here? Oh, there we go. In white. Hi, Jennifer. Okay. My hashtag is competitive. As we all know, I'm joining a pageant right now, but I don't feel competitive at all because I know that this is a competition, but still, sisterhood and learning the value, a good value rather, of being a true eco-warrior is what's most important. Thank you. Thank you. Jennifer Diaz is Mandaluyong City. Well, I, I can feel actually that this is more than a competition because what we have right here is a big growing family who loves to save Mother Earth. Halfway done, let's go to Cebu City. Um, Kiara Lian Wellington. Cebu. Another lady, beautiful and white. My hashtag is history. Right now, I want to. I just wanted to tell everyone that our history is a big part of our life. And now, this is actually part of my history. This pageant is my history. And I want to let everyone know that this is a dream come true, being on this platform in front of you and answering this question. Thank you, and good afternoon. <laughs> thank you. Cebu City, thank you. No problem. History, and that is based on a fact, okay? Hindi yan chismis, and history will never be chismis. Let's go to Legaspi City. Erika Vina Tan. With fans. Okay. Erika? My hashtag is adoption. I grew up with a brother who has this immense love for, fa for animals, and he told me that Adoption is one of the most essential thing when it comes to faunas and different animals. So I encourage everyone to not only educate ourselves, but also educate others that we should adopt and not shop. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll be adopting that concept as well. Oh, thank you. All right. From Legaspi, let's go to Santa Ignacia Tarlac, Jenny Ramp. Jenny. Okay. And her word is. Hashtag.
hashtag evolution. As time goes on and history goes on, we see evolution. We see change within the, our politics, and we see change and evolution in our day-to-day -day lives. But as humans and as citizens of the Philippines, let's use this to our good, and let's continue to have a greater future by working together as a nation. Thank you. And that's how we evolve together. Oh, thank you, Jenny Rapp. Eight down, two more to go. And you are up next. Hasaan Mesa Mis Oriental, Jemema Tempra. I love the name, by the way. All right. And her word is Hashtag resiliency. In today's time, we need resiliency in our hearts, in our actions, because Mother Earth needs us. He needs us because we are an earth warrior. And we can show that resiliency in our environment today by following the five R's. The rethink, reuse, reduce, recycle, and respect. In this way, we can build in our hearts the resiliency that we need to conquer what the environment needs. Thank you. Thank you, Jimema. Oh, five R's, she said. And I can't wait for your TikTok video. Okay, very, very soon with that movement right there. Let's see kung mag trending ang sagot ng uh, ating next Earth Advocate. Completing our list is Trece Martires City, Angel Santos. Angel. <laughs> Angel. Hashtag motivation. My family is my motivation to be here today. They cannot watch my coronation here in Coron Palawan because of resources problem. But I think that their hearts is with me right now. And this is my message for everyone who is here. As a Miss Earth candidate, I would like to say that we belong here because we are one and our Earth is ours and we should save it. Thank you. Thank you so much. We only have one home. Again, a round of applause for our top 10. That was an intense and interesting round altogether. Thank you so much, ladies. And based on their overall performance, who do you think will make it to our final five? That answer is coming up when we return only here on Miss Philippines Earth 2022. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome back to MPE 2022. And yes, the pressure is on and the stakes are so high. The judges have made their decision and about to reveal the delegates they chose for our final five. 
And right now handing me the list is Miss Maricris Barbaso, partner SGV and company. Maraming maraming salam po, our official tabulator. I missed you, Miss Maricris. <laughs> that one's so sweet. Okay. Koron, are you ready? Well, this is it in no particular order. Here are your final five. Congratulations, because you are moving on. Legaspi City, Erika Vinatan. Joining this elite circle is... Bayugan City, nice, Lampad! Two down, three more to go, and you can claim this spot. Hassan, Misam is Oriental. Jimema, Tempra. Yep, that is her moment right there. Thank you. All right. You are closer to your dream Santa Ignacia Tarlac Jenny Ramp I can hear screams from all over Palawan right now Oh wow Okay before we announce our last queen, let me remind all of our uh, Earth Advocates who are part of our top 10, just in case you don't make it to our list, don't worry, you girls will be automatically be runners up, all right? But one particular person has this chance to become Miss Philippines Earth 2022, and that is you. Capping off our list is Trece Martires City, Angel Santos. Ladies and gentlemen, your top five here at Miss Philippines Earth 2022. To our Earth Advocates, thank you. Maraming maraming salamat. And you girls are considered heroes of this Mother Earth. Maraming maraming salamat. We'll see more of them for sure very, very soon. We got lots of projects, lots of things, activities lined up for our Earth Warriors here at Miss Philippines Earth 2022. Thank you. All right. But once again, belonging to our top five, let me just give you a quick rundown. We got Legaspi City, Bayugan City, Hasaan Mesames Oriental, Santa Ignacia Tarlac, and Trece Martires City. Thank you so much, ladies. We have done so many challenges. We have overcame so many hurdles into our top five. Oh my gosh. Only one final test separates these ladies from becoming the newest face of Miss Philippines Earth. 
And this is the final Q&A. And I will be asking the same question to all of our Earth Warriors. While well, one delegate answers, the others will be wearing soundproof headphones, as you can see. And the one who is in charge of talking right now will have 30 seconds to respond until they hear this chime. So, right now, Quran, are you ready? Are you guys ready? Kapamilya, are you ready? Let's begin with Legaspi City. Erika Vinatan. Erika, one final question separates you from the crown and the title. And the question is, life is a constant battle. What battle or battles are you facing? Life is a constant battle. I do believe that life is a constant battle. And currently, I am 27 years old. And the battle that I am facing right now is focusing if I should focus on the crown or I should go and further my career. As you see, everyone, I am currently an entrepreneur. And I chose to separate myself uh, for a while to focus here on the crown. And I encourage everyone to follow your dreams like I am doing right now. Thank you so much. Focus right there. Thank you so much, Legaspi City. Eyes on the prize. We'll be seeing more of her later on. But right now, let's call Bayugan City. Nice. Not bad. Hello, Bayugan City. Out of curiosity, what was the music that you were listening to? I really don't know the title, but it's a rap. It's a rock song. Well, hopefully, you would rock this question and answer, okay? Your question is, life is a constant battle. What battle or battles are you facing? Every day, my constant battle is my self-love. Because I have been doubting myself ever since I've been here. Because some says that I don't deserve it, but in my heart, I know that I deserve. That is why if I win Miss Philippines Earth Crown, I will use this to advocate my voice, to spread love, and to share that it is in need to save the world. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice lampad. Well, that was the question, and we deserve an explanation and an answer. That's what we got right now. Thank you. Up next is Hasaan Misamis Oriental Jimema Tempra. Okay, are you ready, Jimema? Okay, she says she's ready. Your question is, life is a constant battle. What battle or battles are you facing? Life is a circle of battle, but as an empowered woman, I also face some battle, and that is the challenges that I am advocating for zero waste management. I know it is hard to have a zero waste lifestyle, but as a woman of hope, a woman of change, I know that we can do it. As a global community, we can create the change that we want to see in the world, and we can have a better and a greener planet. Thank you. Thank you, Jimema Tempra, Hasaan Misamis Oriental, pushing her advocacy right there. And up next, from a lady in green, let's have another one in the form of Santa Ignacia Tarlac, Jenny Rapp. Jenny, are you ready for your question? Oh, you should be. Your final question would be, life is a constant battle. What battle or battles are you facing? that I am currently facing is against myself. Every single day, I strive to be the better version of myself. And during this pageant, I certainly battled myself. I was dealt with insecurities. I felt alone. But this empowered me to do better, to do better for myself, for my family, for my friends, for the environment, and for all my friends and supporters watching me today. I hope that I have made you proud, and I hope that I have conquered the battlefield for us all. We got one general commanding the battlefield right now. Thank you, Jenny Ramp. 
And last but not least, let's hear it from Trece Martire City, Angel Santos. I love that smile. <laughs> okay. Angel, this is your final question. Life is a constant battle. What battle or battles are you facing? The constant battle that I am currently facing right now, or I am constantly facing, is my belief that I can win Miss Philippines Earth. Each day, I don't have that enough confidence to face everyone because I don't know if I will be able to give you or whatever cause I can give to the people around me. But for me, I would like to remind you to always remember that Earth is not ours because we belong to Earth. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that is it for our final question and answer portion. A big hand to our top five here at Miss Philippines Earth 2022. Another memorable crowning moment is happening next, so don't you dare miss it. We'll be back. This is Miss Philippines Earth 2022. Welcome back to the coronation of Miss Philippines Earth 2022. And before we move on, we'd love to thank Joey Ganda Productions, Nux, for all the help in making Miss Philippines Earth possible, especially here in the beautiful place of Coron, Palawan. Maraming maraming salamat, Joey. And they say it takes a village to make a beauty queen. And sure enough, one village will be celebrating as we announce the results of this year's competition. We've got, once again, Miss Maricris Barbaso, our partner SGV and company, who will be handing me the results right now. And so we begin with Miss Philippines Ecotourism. Miss Philippines Ecotourism 2022 is... Bayugan City, nice, Lampad. Crowning Miss Philippines Ecotourism 2022 is Sofia Galve with Miss Evangeline Pasqual. Say very nice, nice. What a beautiful moment right there. All right, congratulations, our ecotourism 2022. Nice lampad. Up next is Miss Philippines Fire 2022. Thank you, Miss Mercus. And she is none other than. Miss Philippines Fire 2022 is Legaspi City, Erika Vina Tan. Crowning Miss Philippines Fire is Miss Ronnie Meneses, together with Miss Eileen de Guzman Reyes. Best supporters right here, all the way from Bicol. Maraming maraming salamat and congratulations, Miss Philippines Fire 2022. Two crowns have been claimed and next is Miss Philippines Water. Thank you. Your Miss Philippines Water 2022 is... Trece Martires City, Angel Santos. Crowning Miss Philippines Waters, Miss Rosel 
Longano together with Miss Karen Ibasco. Congratulations, Miss Philippines Water. And we got two equally remarkable women who are left with us. And for sure, the newest face of Miss Philippines Earth will be wearing green. So definitely we got a green warrior claiming the crown. I'll be announcing Miss Philippines Earth first, which means the remaining delegate takes the Miss Philippines Air title. Again, we'll be announcing our Miss Philippines Earth 2022 first. Thank you, Ms. Medicris. Moment of truth. To our ladies, may I invite you to please step forward and bask in your glory. This is it. Woo! After a series of competitions, it all boils down to this moment right here. Your Miss Philippines Earth 2022 is... Santa Ignacia Tarlac, Jenny Rapp. That means you are Miss Philippines Air 2022. Saan, Miss Oriental. Crowning Miss Philippines Air is Amira Almamari with Miss Beachy Veneracion. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, your Miss Philippines Earth 2022 is Santa Ignacia Tarlac, Jenny Rep. Chris, we say congratulations to our new Miss Philippines Earth and her elemental court. And on behalf of all the people right here, we say thank you. Maraming maraming salam po, especially on behalf of Carousel Productions. My name is Robbie Domingo saying thank you for joining us. And we hope to see you next year when we do it again, all over again, and continue the legacy of beauties for a cause. This has been Miss Philippines Earth 2022. She's the woman of the earth, spreading love and joy, fun and laughter. Woman of the earth, making miracles forever after. Loving, caring, working, sharing, teaching, singing, mothering. Whoa, whoa.
Miss Philippines Earth was brought to you by Miss Earth Foundation and Kitco Travel and Tours.